Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, just got a brand new arrival in today. Uh, you know, you may be watching this video two, three, and four years from now, and two, three, and four years from now, you'll be kicking yourself if you could afford to buy this car because you didn't buy this car, and I'll tell you why. Although this is a 70 Mustang Boss 302, it's been beautifully reproduced uh, as it didn't start its life out as that way. But the great thing about it is it's actually been over restored, which is a little bit weird, and I'll tell you why that's weird. If this was a, uh, an original 302 Boss Mustang, it would probably be two or three times the price that this car is here, uh, and it wouldn't be restored to this level, it would be restored to 1970 specs, uh, and those cars in the 1970s, you know, were great cars, but they were very average, uh, and they were, you know, when I say condition, meaning the original build of them. This car here, as we walk around, is so beautifully done uh, that you probably will see in the fifty dollars and $60,000 range of restoration spent on it, and just spectacular. Let's start with the paint for a second. Okay, we're talking about uh, candy apple red paint. So come on up, I wanna show you some of the things here. I'd like for you to be able to see how well you can read uh, this in there. This is great paint, you can see your hands, you can see everything. And I talk about this a lot in the other videos, you need to make sure if you're looking on the internet and you're looking at pictures, pictures are deceiving. Video is the only way to see exactly what you're buying. Pictures can look, uh, make the car look wet, they can make it look uh, uh, shinier than it actually is. And in this case here, uh, we're able to prove it with video and show you those kinds of things. Anyway, when we talk about over-restored, I'm going to walk around the car. I want to show you some of the things that uh, if the painter or the interior guy or the engine builder or whatever said, hey, uh, if you do this, this, and this, it's going to cost an extra 25% or an extra 50%, and that's what's tied up in this car here. For instance, these stripes that are on the car, the Boss 302 callouts, you can buy a decal set uh, for this car, but these are actually hand-painted on here, and they look spectacular. They look really, really nice. All new chrome, all new stainless. Great looking Magnum 500s. We've got disc brakes. If we can get a shot of underneath here, I'd love for you guys to see the underneath of this car. It is so beautifully done. Look underneath it. The suspension's all new. It's all detailed undercarriage. The exhaust is new. The rear is detailed. New floor pans. Just great, great done. Let's take a peek under the hood for a minute because you say, you know what? That's a great looking car, but really what I'm buying the car for is I look at the outside first and then I'm going in here. Hood pins, okay, another nice touch, look at this. The cables are encased in plastic, so as they hang down, they don't scratch the bumper. And they don't scratch the trim when you drive. Start with something simple, like insulation. Most people don't even do the insulation on these cars. Autolite battery topper, this has an upgraded aluminum radiator in it. Maybe we paint that black just to finish off and complete the interior of this car. Power steering, big motor, 351 Cleveland, pumping out a lot of horsepower. Power disc brakes, we talked about that. But look at the detail, from the hinges being painted correctly to this being painted gloss black. This was painted uh, flat black from the factory. Just a fast shot to protect the paint. This right here, look at the shine on this. Here's something else that you'll overlook sometimes when you're buying a car and you forget to ask. Does it have horns? You know how many horns we put in cars? Thousands. Nobody drives around with a horn anymore. I don't know what's going on. But look at the fasteners. All the fasteners are cadmium plated. They're all new and they look great. This is painted the correct uh, argent silver. The catches are new. And I'm spending a little time making sure you see this stuff because this is the kind of thing that you can't build this car. Uh, you know, this car can cost you a minimum of two times uh, what we're asking for by the time you're done and probably take you two years to do if you can find somebody to build it for you. Let's move on to the, to the interior for a second. Matter of fact, you know what? Let's go to the trunk for a second. I wanna show you that. Because the trunk is beautiful. You know what I forgot to tell you? All new glass in the car. New stainless trim. The louvers, I love louvers. Louvers are so cool. And they lift up right here uh, for cleaning the back glass. Front and rear spoilers. New chrome again. New detail here. New chrome tips. Notice this thing. Like all the bulbs work, the turn signals work, all that stuff. That's how we're gonna send you this car. Uh, so that all you have to do, it'll have gas in it. It'll have a temporary tag on the back of it that's good for 60 days. And when that beautiful tractor trailer shows up in front of your house, right? And uh, the gate lowers down, all your neighbors gather around. Wow, what'd Jimmy get, what'd Jimmy get? And uh, this car, when it fired up, man, you'll know right away. All you need to do is take whoever it is you wanna take for a drive and go for a drive. We've already changed the oil. We've checked the fluids all over. We've tested it to, uh, 20 below zero for the antifreeze and making sure that you get the best possible car that you can get. Are they perfect? No. Are they brand new? Never been driven cars? No. But they're excellent, excellent examples. 
This is nice too, and this may seem stupid to you guys, but listen to me for a second. This is how you buy cars. Two full sets of keys, brand new, with the key tag numbers on them. This is the kind of detail the person that gave us this car uh, uh, loved about it. New trunk mat, beautifully detailed trunk, new gas tank. Look at the trunk, over restored trunk. It's painted gloss black. I pulled the side panels down so you can see all the detail of the quarters. This is painted flat black in here like it's supposed to. All new emblems. This is just a great, great car, man. I mean, it's just, if you can afford to buy a car like this, this is one of the best Mustang fastbacks we've ever had. Let's take a peek inside and I'll show you why. It gets better. Hey, did you see that? Interior lights come on. Next time you're on the net looking at a car, these are the kinds of things like you say, okay, well, the dealer's charging a little too much for this car. Fleming's is charging too much for this car. You know what? Run down the list with a guy who's selling one and ask him, say, do the horns work? Do the turn signals work? Do the lights come on inside, the footwell lighting? Does it have an upgraded sound system? Is the heating and, uh, and cable system all brand new? Is the console new? Does it have new carpets in it? Does it have new seat covers? Is the dash new? Is the headliner new? Is the mirror new? Is the steering wheel new? New, new, new. And if it's not, then it's not the same car. Check this out. All the gauges here, full set of factory gauges, not idiot lights, and they've all been fully restored. But you know what? Enough of my rambling. How about I start it up for you? And you can hear what it sounds like. Because this car sounds great. Even the door closes good. And they didn't close good in 1970. Fires right up. You know, when we were getting this car here, uh, it came from the owner and he was, uh, he was a little reluctant to let it go, uh, but needed to make some room and, uh, and we needed to, you know, we're not really the used car dealer. What we really are is transferring uh, the enthusiasm, the incitement and the hobby from one person who just can't really do it anymore uh, to the next person, which may very well be you. And I think that you find that when you get a car like this, where a guy has made sure the turn signals work, the taillights work, he's gone to car shows and things like that, he makes sure that this is the best, best car that he could possibly own, so that when he pulls up to the car show, he's not embarrassed. And that's the kind of car you'd be getting here. Awesome, awesome car. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. This car will not be here long. If you can afford to buy it, you should.